That story is definitely dominating political headlines. The Supreme Court raised the bar for prosecuting Donald Trump. The former president now has immunity for some of his conduct as president in his federal election interference case. He may not be off the hook, though, for his other actions. Here to sort it all out is Professor Stephen Caliendo from North Central College. Thank you so much for being here. It's good to be with you. Now, let's look at this. Um, considering the Supreme Court justices' past rulings, were you surprised by this decision that came down today? In some ways, I was surprised. I was surprised they went as far as they did. I wasn't surprised. I mean, they got it right in, in general. You have to say that a president of the United States has to have some immunity from criminal prosecution for their official acts. Uh, I think most reasonable people would agree that that has to happen. Uh, what was surprising was that the, 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 the majority of the court went further and, and sort of starting to describe what those were, but not as far uh, to say which which of President Trump's alleged acts should or should not be immune. And that's what Justice Amy Coney Barrett uh, wrote in her concurring opinion. She was sort of frustrated that the court is sending this back down with no real guidance uh, on this particular case. Broad guidance, for sure, but not real guidance on this particular case, which is going to draw things out even further. Very true. So how does this move today impact special counsel Jack Smith's job? Because it's no secret that he wants to take this case to trial. Yeah, and the case can still go to trial. I mean, the only thing that would stop it from going to trial at some point is if President Trump would be elected again. And then once he's president, he could uh, he, he could order the Justice Department to drop the case, this case and the Florida case, the two federal cases. But what's going to have to happen next is that there's going to have to be some discussion at the district court level about what is an official act, what, what each of these acts that he's accused of doing, which are official and which are not official. What Justice Roberts wrote in his opinion today was that acts that were core to the constitutional powers of the executive have to be immune from prosecution. And they re very it's important to note, Tia, they rejected the argument that Trump's lawyers made that only if a president has been impeached and convicted in the Senate could a president be held accountable for those acts. The Supreme Court said specifically today that's nonsense, uh, that, the, that the political process of impeachment has nothing to do with whether or not a president can be um, held accountable for criminal acts. But this notion of immunity, limited immunity, still has to be sorted out. You mentioned the Florida case. That's not the only case. Uh, today's decision, does it impact any of the other cases that Trump is facing? It's well, I think we're going to have to find out when we know which acts are official and how we haven't had to deal with this before because we've never had a president get involved in these types of activities before. So let's take, for example, uh, the, the, the felony counts for which he's already been convicted. Were those actions taken while he was president of the United States? Some of them were before, some of them while what was when he was president of the United States or in the time between when he was elected and when he was inaugurated. So there's going to have to be in a case by case basis at the trial court level, um, a sorting out of whether or not an act is considered to be core, whether it's considered to be some other official act, or whether it's in this third bucket, which is a wholly political act or a personal act. And so I think, you know, we could, you and I could, could spend a whole evening uh, talking about all the different accusations and which bucket, which of the three buckets they should fit into. Um, but we can't, we're not allowed to solve it, Tia. We're going to have to leave it up to the courts. You're absolutely right. And it's going to be interesting to see how all of this does play out in the court system. Uh, Professor Caliendo, thank you so much, as always, for joining us here on First Step 4.